Okay, hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss some horizontal motion problems and the process by which we can answer them. Let's start with a very simple one, which is very similar to the ones we were exposed to when we were just choosing which equation to use. Okay, so an airplane accelerates down a runway at 3.20 meters per second squared for 32.8 seconds until it finally lifts off the ground. Determine the distance traveled before takeoff. Okay, so in order to make it organized, I again reiterated that we will use the Gressa approach. And G in Gressa stands for given. So what are we given in this problem? Well, we're given this value over here. Meters per second squared is an acceleration. Okay, so we'll write that down. We're given the acceleration. And 32.8 seconds. Now, seconds is a unit for time. Therefore, we are also given the time, 32.8 seconds. And we're being asked, the R means required, we're being asked to determine the distance traveled by the aircraft before it takes off. So we're looking for delta x, displacement. Okay. Now it seems like there are, there's something missing here, but actually you have to take note that when you are dealing with aircraft in particular, you start off with zero because your airplane starts from rest and then it accelerates down the runway and then it will build up speed. So one assumption for airplane problems is that VI is zero. Okay, so we're given delta X, we're given VI, we're given time, we're given A. Which equation do we now use? Well, the equation that has all of these, if you look at your equations, would be the uh, rectangle plus triangle, so that's delta x, v i t, one half a t squared. Okay, let's check. Do we have a delta x? Well, we're looking for it. Do we have a v i? Yes, we do, and it's zero. Therefore, this entire thing would cancel out because zero times anything is simply zero. Okay, one half a, do we have an a? Well, we do, so that's a check. And we definitely have a time, this is a check. We can therefore start solving using this equation here. Okay, let's now move on and solve. Delta x is equal to vit plus one half at squared. We know that vit has already been cancelled out, so this equation simplifies therefore to one half at squared. Simple as that. Okay, we're looking for delta x, one half. What is a? A is three point twenty meters per second squared, okay? What is your time? Your time is simply 32.8 seconds. And don't forget that the entire thing is squared. So now we have something which we can plug into our calculator. Let's try it out. So the seconds will cancel out. You'll be left with a unit of meters which is consistent to delta x, okay? So let's get my calculator real quick. So that's one half times 3.20 times 32.8 squared. That will give me 1721.344. The unit now, because the seconds canceled out, was meters. Okay, now let's check significant figures. Okay, the zero doesn't count because it's zero. We're only going to matter, or we're only going to take note of this one, which has three sig figs, and this one, which has three significant figures. And therefore, when we plug all that in, we're simply going to get, what's this? One, seven, two, zero meters. Final answer, that's your A. Okay? So as long as you're organized with your problem solving, as you could see, we should be able to be fine with the uh, horizontal motion problems because it's just a matter of choosing an equation, plugging it in, then solving, and then checking for sig figs. Okay?